Hi everybody, thanks for pressing play on the video today. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.blogspot.co.uk I shared um, these little bags with you a little while ago. These are made from using um, a single sheet of 6x6 design suit paper like you get in one of our stacks. And quite a few people emailed me and got in touch asking if I could do a video showing in a little bit more detail um, the different ways I've created to close these bags. So that is what today's video is going to be about. If you'd like to know how to make the bags themselves, I'll put a link to the video showing you how to do that in the down bar below. So I'll just move these out to one way and then we'll get started. I'm not going to show you in any more detail how to how to make this one because that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward that it's just clipped up with some pegs. Let me close that up. There we go. So what I decided to do is rather than make some more with the gold wild design series paper stack, which is what these five are all made from, I would make some today using a different design series paper stack. Um, and these are all from the um, cherry on top design series paper stack. Um, so you get a pretty different look as these are much more brighter, bolder colours compared to the much more subtler, um, elegant look that we have with the Go Wild pack wanted to show you how you can make them up to this point in advance and you can then store them flat until you are ready to decorate them. You can see how they then pop up like that and you can then pop your goodies in and finish them off at a later stage. You know if you're planning a wedding, storage space can often be a bit of a premium. So you don't want a whole pile of these sitting around in this form, take up much less space when they are just stacked up like that. Right, stop babbling. This one is probably the one we'll start with. This is some baker's twine and then I've made a lovely little tag to go on there. So I am going to start by punching some holes which I've actually already done. I've done that using um, the smallest handheld punch from Stamping Up. I've just done it by eye and if you press hard enough you will be able to go through um, all the layers of paper there. If you're using cardstock you'll probably need to go through twice from different angles. To make the tag, I started off with a bit of Island Indigo um, cardstock, which is this blue colour in the DSP, and I've just used a scrap of that to punch out a word window, okay, and then I have you taken a scrap of Whisper White, I've pre-mounted my stamps, which comes from the And Many More set, which is a great general sentiment set. So there's 23 different sentiments. And we're going to use this one, To You From Me, which I thought was a nice sentiment to go on a little um, pack like this. So I'm going to bring in my ink pad. Again in Island Indigo. Just going to stamp that down there. Oh, sorry, went off camera. I keep doing that. And I will then punch that one out also using the same punch. Just punching it off slightly to one side so I've got some space to put a hole in. Okay. And what I'm then going to do is line those up on top of each other and bring in my handheld punch again. Slide that in there and we're just going to punch. There we go. And that puts a hole through both of those. We can come up. Okay. So now what we're ready to do is thread this up. This is the um, Whisper White Baker's Twine. And we're just going to thread that through each of the holes once. Oh, I knew this would happen. It always works fine when I'm just sitting on my desk on my own and then when it comes to doing it on video it never wants to work. So thread that through each hole once, I'll pull it closed and then I'm just going to go back again through each hole, this is when it gets a bit trickier. to lick it, apologies for that. Very good hygiene is it? Oh. 
Let me cut it, see if that helps. Feel free to fast forward, you don't have to sit and watch me trying to thread this through. It's probably sitting there laughing at me. There we go, that one's gone through there. Put it through and lastly in this hole again. There we go, oh, thought I had it, almost. There we go, okay. Pop that in through there, pull it down. Oh, oh, oh. It's much easier than this, I promise. I'm making it look really long-winded, but you will be able to get this thread in through a lot easier than me, I'm sure. So pull those onto there, and then we're just gonna tie that off in a bow, a bow on camera adding the pressure on today. Hello again if you've just joined me from watching me fast forwarding through all that horrible painful threading. So just going to snip those ends off. Okay. And that is our first um, way of closing. Okay. The next one hopefully will be a little bit easier. So this one is gorgeous, got lots of little donuts on it. And I'm going to close this like this one. Okay. This time I'm going to use some cardstock in Cucumber Crush, sorry, Watermelon Wonder, which is, matches the red on the DSP. And this is the um, decorative label punch. I'm just going to punch that out. Then to get a really nice, neat crease on this, I'm gonna, I am going to use the scoreboard. I'm just going to push that out and make a bit of space to bring this in. So I'm just going to line that up so that crease, the pointy bit, lines up um, with one of the grooves on the scoreboard. And then I'm just going to score down there. And that will give me a really nice crease which I can then fold over. You do need to give this a good burnish because what that will do is it will make sure that the box really does stay nicely closed. Okay. Bring in my box again. And we're just going to put some Tombow or some snail or whichever adhesive you prefer just on one side of that flap. Okay. So we want to line that crease up to the top of our bag on one side. Okay. And we can fold that over and you can see how that has started to look a little bit like this one. I'm going to bring in my handheld punch again and just going to go through once. And you need to give this some welly, oh, but it will go through if you squeeze hard enough. If you want to, you could always go through one half and then go around the other side um, and do that one. I'm going to use, in this case, some Whisper White Seam Binding Ribbon. I don't have a lot of ribbon actually that coordinates. Um, with the new ink colours. We only really have the um, the lacy ribbons, which I don't actually have yet. Um, so we're just going to use Whisper White in these examples. So I'm just going to push that through the hole using the, um, this is the scoring tool from the Simply Scored to help me. Okay. So you can either tie that up in a knot, tie that up in a knot here, like this, or you can do what I have done in my example. Oh, sorry about that. Oops. Just to trim it off like that and then bring back in a little bit of the baker's twine and wrap that round the ribbon to secure it in place. Okay. So it's sort of one where you need an extra pair of hands, but apologies for that. There we go, trim that off on either side. Okay, so we are growing a little collection of bags. So that is another way of doing it. The last one I'm going to show you um, is this one, which you might think is quite an interesting closure. This one actually uses um, the flower medallion 
punch which is a relatively new punch I think it came out in the spring summer mini a really nice punch and I'm gonna do this bag this stripy bag with that one and this time we've got some scrap of cucumber crush this one is cucumber crush punch that out again I'm gonna use my scoring board just to make sure I get a really nice clean crisp um, edge to that so I'm just gonna as I said line the two points up down one of the grooves and score down there okay slide that out of the way for a moment so fold that over and again score and burnish I think this is a really nice one actually this I think I've saved my favorite to last so then I'm just going to pop open my box and again we're just going to stick that onto one. Oh, it looks a bit like a tomato doesn't it oh I think I've just got a bit of inspiration there so Okay, so again, it's just stuck on one side, so it's a bit like it's a bit of a latch there. I'm going to use my um, hole punch again, and on this case, I'm going to put two holes in. One just there. Oh, there we go. You do have to squeeze quite hard to go through both layers here. Um, you can always try and go through one layer and then come back on the other side. There we go. And for this one, if I can find my ribbon, I was going to use some seam binding ribbon. Here it is again in Whisper White. Let's just fold that over. I'm going to use my, um, oh, it looks like eyes and a nose. Oops. Right, so get on with it, Caroline. You're getting bored now, aren't you? Just going to run that ribbon through those two holes. Tighty up at the back and then just into a little bowl at the front. Okay. And trim that off. I'm sure you could do a bit of a neater bowl than me. So those are our three different ways of closing up those boxes. Um, as I said, you could also use closed pegs, or this one just uses um, the two and a half inch circle. All different ways, but these are really gorgeous little favour boxes. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, bye.